We've all heard of Minecraft. It's one of the most popular and influential games of all time. But have you considered ever running a Minecraft server? You can use Minehut, Eternos, running it off your own PC, or even a server. But what if we did none of that and ran it on an old Android phone? All right, how do we decide on a device to do this project on? I mean, there's tons of different specs and you know, different compatibilities with Termux and whatever. So, you know, let, let, let's take this piece by piece. We have the device I'm filming on, which is probably the most powerful, but I, I need to record stuff with it, so I can't use it. And we have my working phones here. So we have my Pixel 6 Pro, could be a good candidate. The Pixel 3, probably not so much. And then the Z Flip 3. Video on this coming soon, by the way. I just got it, but the CPU in this probably isn't the best, but what if I pulled from my broken phone pile? You know, the pile of phones that I broke over the years and I just have nothing to do with them because they're not uneconomical to fix. So I have the pile right here. Uh, in this bag, we have uh, a Pixel 6 Pro motherboard. Uh, that won't do. And then we have a OnePlus One 7 Pro motherboard. Uh, that also won't do, and if I recall correctly, this Samsung Galaxy A5 does not turn on. I think the USB port's broken. That won't suit what I want to do with it. Um, then we have these three phones. So we have the, 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 the two Pixel 6 Pros and then a OnePlus 7 Pro. This could be a good candidate, same with these two. Um, I think this 6 Pro wins because there's an edge in the RAM and CPU. So I think I'll go with one of these two. And between these two, I already have USB debugging enabled on this phone, so I think we're going with this one and because this one has some motherboard issues. So I think we got our candidate. Okay, but how do we get the Pixel 6 Pro with a broken touchscreen and basically a broken screen? Yeah, this thing's unusable to interface with a keyboard and mouse. Well, to get USB debugging enabled, it was actually kind of a challenge. I plugged in a USB mouse and I uh, went to developer options and turned on USB debugging and then using a Bluetooth keyboard I used tab and enter to select and from there I was able to once it was plugged into my PC accept the USB debugging prompt and you can see here USB debugging is connected and uh, I use this program which I assume is called scrappy makes sense in my head to control the phone basically it just takes the output of your phone you can see I'm using it here and to prove that I'm not BSing, you can see when I move my mouse, it moves on the phone screen as well. And also, I am using Android 15 Beta Vanilla Ice Cream AP31, just, just for clarification that I'm not faking this or anything. Alrighty, now we're recording with OBS on my PC, and you can see uh, the phone's in the corner, to prove I'm not faking this. Um, what you'll need is Termux, so you want to get it from... Uh, you want to get it from uh, the GitHub or F-Droid, or not the Play Store one, the GitHub or F-Droid one. And I already have that. And you also need Linux from the Play Store. Um, great little tool. So basically what you want to do, let me just clear the data of Termux, just, just so we can start from scratch. Basically, you, you open Linux, you go to dashboard, you click choose, you do Ubuntu. You copy it and then you launch Termux and you let it do its thing. It might take a second and then you install it. This may take a minute depending on how fast your connection is. Mine's okay, but we'll cut back when it's done. All right, so now that we're done, um, I'm going to do slash start ubuntu.sh and this is going to bring me to root at localhost and we're just going to do app update to make sure all the uh uh repositories all the packages are updated because this is important <laughs> um i'm not a big linux guy sometimes i use arch linux so i i'm not i'm not the best one to explain this but we'll cut back when this is done oh it, it's already done and then i do apt get clean just make sure everything's clean. And then I do apt get install dash y build. Is 
essential. I'll install all of this. This will take a bit. It is 270 megabytes along with 80 megabytes. So if you have slower internet, it'll take some time. I'll cut back when this is done. All right, so it's finished. And then now I do app get install software proper keys common. And we let this do its thing now. All right, so it's done doing that. And then we do add apt repository. I can't spell. <laughs> Uh, PPA open JDK dash R slash PPA. And I already did that wrong. There you go. Small spelling mistake. It's going to add a repository. This is for the Java runtime. Um, you know, if it were to add, click enter here. <laughs> and there you go. I'll, I'll be back when this is done. Okay, it is done. So now we do apt update just to make sure all the dependencies and repos are updated again. So this is gonna take less time than it originally did. Yeah, there you go. Uh, then you can do at get, uh, apt get install open JDK dash eight dash JRE. This is for the Java runtime. And okay, yeah, that's gonna take some time. That's almost 400 megabytes. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of waiting with this, so we'll, we'll cut back when when that's done. All right, we are back. So on your Android phone, what you want to do is go to the Minecraft server download page. Um, they signed up. Uh, I think it's this one no it's it, it's the first link sorry <laughs> sorry guys uh, and then you want to hold on this and do copy link address and then you want to do wget dash capital o minecraft underscore server is it underscore yeah it's underscore server dot jar and then you just want to paste that in bang and it'll download so usually be quick and you do chmod Troot mod, whatever it's called, I don't even know. And you do plus x minecraft underscore server dot jar. And then from there, you can do java dot dash xmx. I'm just gonna do six gigs of RAM because I can afford that. Depending on your device, if you have four gigs of RAM, I'd recommend doing two. You know, what, whatever you have free, basically. Because this Pixel 6 Pro has 12 gigs of RAM, I can afford to do you know, upwards of eight in some instances. So I'll do 6192M uh, Minecraft server.jar no, no GUI could not find oh, what? Er, oh, I forgot the dash jar. Sorry. Uh, uh, could not exception main God freaking damn it. Um, change of plans. We update Java. What? Oops. I, I can't spell. Yeah, that's probably why. Um, apt install open JDK 17 dash JDK. Oh, uh, oops. Is it Jerry? Am, am I just stupid? Okay, there you go. Um, yeah, so there's supposed to be a dash. Um, I'm a bit stupid. Um, that's my bad. All right, we're back. Java dash version. Yep, it's the recent version. And we're on Java 61. So I am assuming 18 doesn't hurt to try. Um, I'm, I'm praying 18 is our issue. Uh, 18, 18, 18 will solve everything. If it doesn't, God, God damn it. 
All right, let's run the Minecraft server again. And it's, and it's 62. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know, we're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna skip two versions. And 20 doesn't exist. Okay, okay, okay. You, you know what? You know, I'm, I'm gonna step back. I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm gonna roll back and. You know what? Cause this phone's giving me so many freaking issues. Why don't we just. All right, so. Um... Uh, okay, we're back. Uh, um, that was not this Pixel 6 Pro. That was uh, Pixel 6 Pro with a broken motherboard and screen and practically everything else was already parted out. So I'm going to emphasize that. Um, the phone was not solid. It was not worth it to fix it. And there is open JDK 21. And I think that's going to solve our issues, but it's going to take more time. So I'll cut back to when this finishes. All right, so I think we should be good now. Version Java 21 that is built pretty recently, actually. Uh, does oh, okay. Um, I need to accept the EULA. That is doable. Do I have Nano? Okay, so I guess we need to install Nano. Apt install Nano. Uh, this is a Ed, uh, text editor tool essentially for uh, CLI Linux installs, I'm pretty sure. So I can do nano hula.txt and then here using arrow keys. If you're on mobile, you can use these arrow keys. I have a keyboard because I'm using this through my PC. You just do true, control X, Y, and then just enter. And then you're good. And then you can run the command again and you pray it works. Uh, let's go. So let me quickly just pause, get the local IP for this phone because when I go to the settings panel, it shows my public IP address, which I don't want getting out. So I'll be back when that happens. And there you go, it works. I am on a Minecraft server that I am hosting from my Android phone, which you can see. If I do slash op t2i, which is my username, made a server op, and we can do game mode creative. And you can see in the chat here or in the logs here, it says set on game mode to creative mode. So we are successfully running a Minecraft server off my Pixel 6 Pro. Now, the real question is, how much TNT can we blow up? That's that. That's the real question here. Uh, I typed the command wrong. This happens all the time. It's fill, fill the tilde, tilde, TNT. You know, then you want some more, and then you want some more, and then you want some more. And you know, let let's see. Uh, Flint. Uh, we're gonna light this all on fire. And let's and um can't keep up. Server's overloaded already. It's a couple ticks behind. <laughs> I wonder when it's gonna crash. Honestly, that it that is if it will crash. Um. Yeah, that's lagging. All right. Um, it appears fine right now, actually.
and we just crashed. So I guess this concludes this short intermediary video. Uh, not my highest effort video and not the most organized, but stay tuned for the Z Flip 3 uh, upload that I have coming soon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, peace out.